Yeah, so we basically just picked up the latest Brit Stops 2022 edition at the NEC. So we're just going to show you what's in it. Um, basically, on the inside cover, there is now a code where you can uh, use the app. And uh, it's pretty simple to use. We'll show you how to use that in a minute. So in this book, you get a sticker to put in the cab of your motorhome. Plus the hosts get a sticker, which you probably recognize in their window. And uh, here we are just sort of browsing some of the latest Brit stop stopovers on the map down in our neck of the woods. Um, we're just having a little... Uh... When you've selected the number, you just look in the directory and then it tells you all the information inside. And it goes into Wales and around Scotland. We are now into Southern Ireland, which is really interesting. Some amazing stops, and there's a full index of all the stopovers for easy sort of navigation. There's all the keys to the symbols on the that you would see in the book. So if you've downloaded the app, this is just going to show you how easy it is to navigate around the app. And um, basically. We kind of uh, have been up to Folkestone area before, before boarding the Euro Tunnel and stuff like that. It's always handy to have a stop up there. Um, so we're just going to browse up there now. There's a couple of stops just off the M20, for example. This one here, which we've actually used before and totally recommend, is the Doghouse uh, Micro Pub and Vinyl Bar. And um, it's a great little stop over. There's all the information there. You can scroll down, get the information. If you want to make a phone call to the pub, you can literally hit the button, make a phone call straight to the pub, browse their web page, just hit the information one. That's the call. So you can call the pub. And um, yeah, you can just browse the area. If there's another one you fancy, you can just basically just have a little browse around the Folkestone area, um, the Master Brewer. For example, again, browse the information, see what's available, what length motor homes they take, whether they take dogs, whether they've got water available, all the uh, informations on their um, on the little uh, information bar at the bottom, and disposal of water, stuff like that. The Valiant Soldier, another one. So you just basically it gives the name of the person you need to contact, the um, whether it be a farm or a pub, or a microbrewery, or a vineyard, and uh, we're just gonna, I thought we'd just take a little look at around, seeing we've just been to the NEC, let's just have a look and see what uh, pub stops are around there then, you know, which is like majorly uh, handy for the show. And so you can have a browse around, I'm just having a little browse there. See which one takes your fancy, we'll click on that one, the railway in. And parkings for four motor homes, they take dogs, you can phone ahead recommended and gives you all the little uh, information there, what they got there. And uh, try another one. It's just a case of just the gate in. Again, gives you the name, open all year round, look, parking for five motor homes. Looks like water's available, rubbish is available. Have a little scroll around, see what's going on. It's dogging. One motorhome on that one, so you're not going to have any um, fellow motorhomers to uh, talk to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, basically, there's all the um, the keys to the uh, symbols. Phone ahead, rubbish, free Wi-Fi, dogs. Um, and there's just basically the code of conduct that the Brit Stops recommend you use. Just basically uh, being respectful. And anything else that uh, might come to light. Uh, yeah, you can get frequently asked some questions, contact support. They're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's have a little look down. Let's just try a little random one down to Swindon. In the Swindon area, we'll 
hitting on that one. Let's try that. Oh, so this is a pick your own farm. So the tractor denotes a farm. Parking for five motor homes. Uh, dogs available. Uh, uh, okay to take dogs. It looks like they've got a web page up as well. Um, closed October to June. So it's a little bit seasonal, this one. It's another uh, point of interest. But uh, yeah, interestingly, have a sneak up. Another one here in Scotland, possibly. Everybody wants to go to Scotland. Nice pub stop in the uh, Loch Loman area. Let's have a little look. What we got there? There we go. Couple of spots there at Tarbot. Maybe a restaurant and bar. Uh, five parkings. Another car park there. So another five spaces at the car park. Open all year round. So yeah, it's just a case of uh, browsing the area you want. And... Uh, Pick in which one. I normally have a, a good browse around and uh, see if it's on your route. See what uh, see what one takes your fancy. Another car park there. But um, yeah, it's uh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just uh, having a look at the information again, reading all about it. Yeah, this app is um, pretty nice. Pretty nice there. So you can see all the places right over Scotland. I'm just going to zoom in onto one that we used on our Christmas trip, which was the, you'll see it come up in a minute. I'm just going to zoom in there, just north of Carlisle, south of Gretna Green, just off the uh, the motorway, which is pretty handy. And it's the Metal Bridge Inn. Perfect little stopover. We had uh, good food that really recommend the food there. Open all year round, look. Uh, uh, speak to Lisa on the phone if you want to ring ahead you can make a reservation for a table possibly they got great parking around the back as probably seen in our uh, some of our previous videos we did some videos up there so that's about it really so support the guys at Brit Stops there you go thanks for watching I hope you subscribe like and uh, give us a comment thanks a lot